got PB. Oh, thank you, Alan. What's up? Hey guys, I just wanted to come in. So this is the main put-in, I guess you would consider a Cypress Creek, Cypress Creek kayak put-in. You can rent kayaks here if any of you guys would be interested in it. The only bad part is where the, where the parking lot's at, the side trail. So if you've got a bunch of stuff, it's kind of a long way down there to put your kayak in. So you're kind of not right by the water. Just wanted to point that out in case you guys might want to come over here, just beware. Yo, what's up? Camp PB and Jay out here, Cypress Creek. What's up, guys? We're back out here, ready for another trip. Yep. We got a, uh, got a little help today. It's my brother-in-law, Frank the Tank Hill. He's the guy that made the tractor knock. Y'all seen him in the last couple videos. He's helping us out, shoveling us a little bit, but we're gonna get on this thing spend the night so we can see what we think never been out here before sounds good. sounds good to me oh and uh roll tide Go guys. Alright guys, we are apparently on Snake Island. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna walk around and see if we might come make a campsite out of it. Out here on Cypress Creek, 
around Florence, Alabama. Uh, so far, we haven't been too far, but it's been really nice. I like this place. We'll talk about it a little bit later. Let's uh, walk around, check it out, see if we might can camp here, call this home for the night. So we looked around a little bit and found this sign right here. And it looks like this is a pretty popular spot. Some people own it, but on the sign right down here, I'll do a close up right now or something. It says that more than, well, more than welcome to stay here. Even has their phone number and everything. So this is a pretty popular little area. It is huge. We passed a couple of spots up there that could have been potential campsites, but there were signs that, you know, it's private property and we didn't need to be on there, so. stay on Snake Island uh, we read a little more on that sign and apparently uh, you it's a K what was it Brent? KTSP yeah keep the shores beautiful it's a keep America beautiful affiliate and so I think they might own maybe a portion of this little area so they have a sign on there you know welcoming anybody to stay just as long as you know you obviously keep the place clean and things like that that and, is uh, always a priority for us we're, we're always gonna leave a place better than we found it. yep I also like list the number and stuff. You know, they do list 911, but you know, ain't a whole lot of people that know exactly where this is at and be kind of hard to get here. So they list their phone number, telling, hey, we live up on the hill, just then they can be here in a few minutes. So I thought that was really cool. So I think PB and I are probably going to send them a little, you know, try to message them and send them, you know, a few dollars for letting us camp out here and, you know, kind of thanking them for having a place like this. I think this is really cool. So yeah, this is a pretty cool little spot. We've got a lot of beach area here. And uh, real nice, we're actually kind of at the point. It looks like it would be an island because there's some water on the other side, but people that would come out here would need to access the property. But I mean, there's a nice little beach area through here. Water shallow enough right here. You put the in the water and it kind of drops off right there. We'll try to do some fishing later. Port line here, nice. I think right through here, some kayaks there. I think right through here, we're probably gonna set camp up and a few trees kind of close together. Look at it. Hold this. I want to hurt him. Come here, dude. How little that thing is. Get out of here. I don't want to step on you on accident. Yeah, this whole area is kind of really shaded, really nice little, just cool area. All the overgrowth and everything's real pretty. This tree. What the? I forgot to close the door. Yeah, this little island's pretty cool. This is the other side right here. I think me and Brent, this is kind of one of our goals this time was to get out here with a little more light and to have some light to hang out and cook dinner and explore just have a little a more little time. Bit. Yeah, and explore, just hang out. So we're gonna go sit down a little bit before we set up camp and both of us are already soaking wet. It's hot and humid. I think it's, it's 91 right now, so. A little steamy. Mm -hmm. we'll make it Two work. hot guys like us, it don't take a lot to get steamy though. Oh yeah.
Hey guys, so you know, just a little while ago, we were talking about the sign we seen and how well the property was taken care of and everything. And you guys seen the trash can, so we know somebody took uh, care of the property. We were setting up camp and everything, and then Mr. Ron Reverness, Beverness, yeah. sorry, Ron <laughs> Beverness came down, and he's actually the one who maintains this area. We we're telling him how good it was, and it's really probably one of the most perfect spots we've yeah, seen we, so we, far. We, we, you can't beat this area, and we really appreciate you letting us use it tonight. And, We'll uh, definitely take care of it and appreciate you okay. checking us out. Real oh, good. I'm glad awesome. you can enjoy it. You know, and, uh, He's got a look nice little set up here. <laughs> you know, it's it's a nice place, and I'm, you know, I, I get to enjoy it, and I just hope that other people can so enjoy it. So do you kayak too. often? We used to, but uh, my wife's got knee problems, and I've got back problems, and so we're at the age where it's... Uh, Maybe not in our best interest anymore. I mean, yeah. We saw some people floating yesterday. They had these huge inner tubes. And I thought, man, that's what we need right there. So we can't fall over and have to get back in. Well, yeah. We were actually talking before we left today. We were talking about the shirts and making them. He's like, what are the shirts going to look like when we're 70 years old trying to kayak down these, yeah. down these creeks? Yeah. And Firewood and stuff because that we got a high water that'll be gone. Okay, but I can always you know, you know, down for you. Right, awesome. Well, thank you. Hey, I'll tell you what, you, you take text, yeah. All right. So I will uh, I will text you in just a few minutes, Camp BB, and Jay, okay, and then you put it in there that way. When I'll, I text I'll remember you that. that. Camp BB and Jay. Thank you. All right, guys, so we got to camp, got everything set up, got the hammocks and stuff over here, and I'm gonna spin around with you guys. Right here is Cypress Creek. Got our kayaks right here. Kind of relaxed a little bit earlier. Wanna put our feet in the water, just sit there and chit chat and stuff like that. And uh, we're getting ready to kind of get the fire going, start cooking us a little bit of dinner. Been doing a little fishing? Yeah, I mean, really with the fast moving, shallow water, we didn't really expect to catch a lot of stuff. But I'm gonna get, tell you guys, sometimes, just casting, talking, chatting a little bit. is really relaxing. We've yeah. probably been doing that the last couple hours. It really was. It's, it was nice to get out here with a lot of daylight left. We've just been kind of hanging out, enjoying a little bit of the sun, a little bit of the shade. We've seen a few few kayakers go by. We had a, you know, right when we got in, there was a lot. But we've seen two or three kind of smaller groups come through and met a few of the people that actually live on the river. It's really nice people. Yep. And uh, it seems like the people that kind of live on this river they want to take care of it like there was a guy out here earlier jumping in with goggles trying to find people's phones and if they turn back on he would call the people and you know let them Which know we're all about so if we've never said it before always anytime you're anywhere in nature especially leave the place better than you found pick up a little trash we always try to leave a spot that we camp at better than what we found it we don't yep. leave trash we don't we don't leave any markings behind we try to pick up. Absolutely. So we're gonna get this fire going. We're Got gonna... the hammock set up. You show them the hammocks. All right guys, so tonight, we got our hammock set up over here and we've got two new hammocks that you've never seen before on Camp PBNJ. So I recently bought a um, water bonnet bridge runner. It's a bridge style hammock. We plan on later doing kind of a hammock uh, comparison video we'll do that but tonight I'm gonna be sleeping in that for the first time trying it out I'll let you know about it later and then a guy that I work with James Waldrop is letting Jelly try out his Hennessy him so he's gonna try that out and that will also be in the video later down the road we'll let you know about that one but we're really excited to try these hammocks out we kind of got camp set up we are ready to Get it going. We're about to start a fire. Put some steaks on the grill. You know we're ready for some steaks. Y'all seen them and, uh, steaks last video, didn't you?
got them on there. Gonna try some of this smokehouse maple seasoning from McCormick. You can always count on McCormick for some great seasoning. You see his white nails right there? Yeah. It looks like it's got it. Mm -hmm. Big old tail. Well, most of the time, snakes have got like the angular face. I feel like they would bite. They would bite. They're so aggressive, like. Man, I wonder if he's trying to sleep. If you can keep him walking this way, he's coming to the shore. I gotta know where he's at. I feel like I see he's right here. He ain't going nowhere. Just please don't. I wish I knew a little bit more about him. I know, I, and then I'm gonna sink when I pick him up because he's gonna be freaking out. Yeah, I'm touching his back. It's right under your left wrist, his tail. Okay, I got it. Oh, I hope you can see that on camera. If you're gonna get him, you better get him. I'm not getting him no more. <laughs> <laughs> he can have the water. I'm about that. Hey, good morning, guys. Feeling really nice out here, man. Taking on TV to wake up over there. It's just kind of the right, right, perfect noise. So you've got a little bit of rapids right here, and then a little bit at the end of the island, which the glare of the sun's not gonna help me out there, but perfect noise to really sleep to all night. Got my chair right here, I'm sitting, I'm about to sit down, put my feet in the water a little bit, and just relax.
Well, well, well. You got Hey, Charlie. You got PB. Look, my boy finally decided to wake up this morning. Hey, that warp on the ridge around there slept good. Look what that heating element did. What you got over here, PB? Got me an old meal of a uh, MRE type deal. But the, the cool thing about this one, and we'll try it for the first time today, is it has its own heating element in it. So you pretty much open it, take the heating element out, put your little water in there, put the heating element back in, close it, it's got a little steam hole in here. You let it steam for about three to five minutes. It should be ready to eat. Now, I've never tried one. I'm gonna give it a shot. See what it's like, we'll let you know. About to get us a little fresh water going. In case you haven't seen that, that's a grill water filter. Try it it's out. It's pretty sweet. So basically this is just like a water filter, that top part. PB is about to push down in there and all that water is forced through that filter at the bottom and then it fills the inside container with good fresh water. Can I see the level building on the inside container now. So yeah, you kind of keep steady pressure on it. It's not hard, you just kind of keep down on it. And about 20 seconds later, you have about 20 ounces of filtered water ready to drink. Well, thanks for the cool. I think you kind of hear it. Seems like it's real convenient. You don't need, I mean, even you don't even need any fire. You don't need propane, anything. They even included in the, inside the pouch, salt, pepper, napkin, and a spoon. I mean, it's ready to go. <laughs> All right, guys, while my breakfast is over here cooking, we figured we would uh, stop, talk to you guys about some of what we've experienced so far the area, the, the creek, the campsite, everything we've done so far on this trip and on Cypress Creek, which until yesterday, neither one of us have been to Cypress Creek. So, mm -hmm. so far, what do you kind of think about it? I think it's good, man. It's really, definitely like family friendly. Like this has been, so where we put at Cox Creek Parkway, Cox Creek, Cox Creek Bridge, and it's a canoe rental there too where you put in at man there there were a lot of people we've never seen that many people so we know it's a popular spot that ought to tell you something which literally 15 minutes ago we just had a group of about 12 people float by on a monday we're here on a monday yep. in, in june so kind of a little you know it's kid friendly we've seen a lot of kids out here it's been pretty nice mm -hmm. i think the water from what so this time we didn't travel as far the first day to find you know our right spot we were looking for because this right here you're really not asking for anything better than this so we agreed you know in the past we had passed a few spots that we knew we could do just for you know oh well we just got on the water we don't want to you know get oh, off right settle. now yeah but this time we both agreed we're like hey if we just find that spot and it's five minutes upstream we're getting it or downstream we're getting it so that's what we did. So the water up until this point has been really awesome. Like a little shallow in some areas, but the water's down right now, but there's been no no having to push yourself or drag. You know, we dragged a little, but I would say the river and it's wide, it's not narrow really. It's a good little, good little fun little spot. And the, the actual ramp, the boat ramp, actually had like a little staircase going down to the water with two like four by four timbers that you can slide your boat down holding it while you're going down the stairs to put in. I, I thought that was pretty neat. We haven't seen something like that on any of the places that we've been. So you know that the place is well managed. Just right off the bat when you see stuff like that, I always like seeing it. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, overall, like we said, a lot. This place is, I mean, this is a good little setup. This would be, a, if 
I know a lot of families come out here and they'll just kind of kayak for a day, but if you would want to bring your whole family out here and set up a tent, or if you wanted to do hammocks, this is very flat, very open. There's hardly any grass. You've got, obviously you've got beach, you could sit in the water. Fishing might not be the best option because it's a lot of running water through here and it's not as deep for us right now, but I think this is a very fr family friendly campsite and just with a lot of options. Like you could bring a huge group out here and camp if you wanted to. Or this, you know, opportune time if you wanted to everybody stop off and eat a little snack, eat a sandwich, yeah. and a little yeah. side picnic. Yeah. Y'all have a good time. But we will say on that. We met Mr. Ron, you've seen him already. You know, he takes care of this area, it's his area. And every time we're out, we try to take care of the area that we're in. You know, try to leave the place better than you found it. Pick up a little trash if you see it, take it out with you. And just in case you guys are wondering, this is some of the sketchiness we go through trying to get some of these shots. We had thought about swimming over there and tying a camera onto one of those roots coming out of those trees but we've seen this piece of driftwood and the piece of driftwood wasn't strong or heavy enough to stay in the water so we had like 10 rocks because we really wanted to get the shot right here where you could see us talking and then see our hammocks and set up in the background so we try for y'all in there and somebody ate them up. Out of here. See you later, Snake Island. I had a blast. Dude, can you see this right here? Under this? What you got there, home? Maybe. On that worm?
You've got the jelly. All right, guys, that is it. This was an awesome trip. Probably one of the best camping spots that we've been to so far. If you liked the video, please feel free to like it. Subscribe if you really enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that notification bell right there beside it to get notified next time we upload a video. Going to throw up two videos on the screen right now. The one on the left is of our latest video, the gear closet review, where PB and I kind of go through the gear closet, what we use, why we use it. If you're into that sort of thing, be sure to check it out. And on the right over here, I will put up one of our latest camping trips. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.